Next, next piece of neurochemistry that's relevant, and this is not a neurotransmitter, but this is a neurochemical that occasionally gets put into the nervous system, which is alcohol. Alcohol. What does alcohol do first to neurons on sort of a nuts and bolts level? Is alcohol a mimicker of any particular neurotransmitter? No. Does alcohol bind to any particular class of neurotransmitter receptor? No, not that either. Alcohol seems to have some remarkably nonspecific effects in terms of how cells function. All one could say at this point is alcohol is not equal to it's kind of working like this neurotransmitter or that enzyme or that. It's not that clean. It is a messy drug with lots of effects in the brain. So what does alcohol have to do with aggression? Everybody knows the answer to that, which is alcohol increases levels of aggression. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this, and the guy who gets a couple of drinks under his belt and is flinging people out the bar soon afterward, alcohol increases aggression. What you find, in fact, is there is no significant relationship between the two. A huge literature examining this by now. And what you see instead is one of our if-then contingent themes here. Over and over, you're getting this sort of thing coming up. Alcohol does not cause people to be aggressive. Alcohol causes people who already are aggressive to become more aggressive. Alcohol causes people who are unaggressive to become more inhibited. What alcohol does is merely magnify the pre-existing social tendencies. This theme over and over again, that's exactly what testosterone was doing two days ago. Testosterone does not make number three ranking rhesus monkey start attacking number two and number one. It makes him absolutely torture numbers four and five. Testosterone does not create aggression. It amplifies pre-existing social patterns to it. That's our remove the testosterone and aggression doesn't go down to zero percent interaction with social history. Same exact theme again. Alcohol does not cause aggression. It amplifies aggressiveness in people who already are aggressive. Along with that, sort of as a confounding factor, we have this problem that everybody knows that alcohol makes you more aggressive. And what has also been shown in studies is that if you tell people that you have just raised their blood alcohol levels, infusing in either alcohol or infusing in saline, and what you see is when people believe their blood alcohol levels have risen, they become more aggressive. What is alcohol about? Alcohol allows you to give voice to those pre-existing social tendencies towards aggression. Modifier over and over again this sort of theme. And this has been studied in all sorts of contexts. One really interesting domain have been people who, anthropologists who basically study how people in different cultures learn to get drunk. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That must be an interesting thing to spend your career on. What is this about? Looking at one of the people who does this work, looking at this whole issue of populations that did not have a prior history of heavy alcohol use before some explicit transitional event. And what that usually translates that into is Polynesian islands that did not have much alcohol before they were touched by the West during World War II with alcohol brought in heavily after that. So the question becomes, what are people's behaviors like in these cultures as they are first having a culture of people drinking to excess? And the answer is, it depends. It depends on the people who are teaching you to drink. And what you see is an interaction between the type of colonial power that controlled the island at the time and what people did. And you would see in British-controlled islands, American-controlled islands, people would start realizing that you're supposed to be aggressive and become more violent when you're, brought, when you're drunk. Meanwhile, over in like French Tahiti, people get drunk and they all sleep with each other. Aha, it's cultural, context-specific sort of thing, this shown over and over again. 